Good evening, welcome to ITV News Time Tees. Tonight's headlines. Three years after he died, detectives refused to give up the search for John Roberts' killer. Protecting the most vulnerable, Cleveland police pledge more officers to cut crime and... Well, hello to you. It's time once again for some more birthday greetings and I'm saying very many happy returns of the day to Claire Simpson on her 13th birthday. Remembering Cathy Secker, the former Tyne Tees presenter, has died at her home on Tyneside. And the thing that I'll always remember is she was always beautifully turned out, real lady, uh, and she always had that smile. If you think of Cathy, you think of the smile. Good evening. Cathy Secker, a face of Tyne Tees for 20 years, has died. Cathy, who was 70, was a household name in the region, at first as a continuity announcer and then as a presenter. As well as her media work, Cathy helped to raise money for a charity in Sunderland providing respite care for children. She died at her home in Jesmond. Julie Harrison looks back at her life. Tonight it's curtain up on a truly showbiz show. Cathy Secker, for a generation, was the face of Tyntees television. She was a continuity announcer through the 70s and 80s and was loved by viewers. Cathy was well known for the birthday slot. Many will remember her reading out messages. Granddaughter Danielle of um, Dells Lane and Concert has wished a very happy fourth birthday. Cathy, who was born in Bedlington, worked as a model in the early 70s. She moved into TV when Tyne Tees announced a search for a new face. Cathy beat off competition and won. You could say an early version of Britain's Got Talent. Hello, I've been investigating the many benefits of big store shopping. In 1985, Cathy left Tyne Tees and starred in a series of commercials. Frozen foods, the pick of the crop in fresh fruit and vegetables. Five years after leaving Tyne Tees, Cathy came back. Later, she became joint chief announcer alongside Bill Steele. While she was here, she presented many well-loved programmes. But now it's lights, camera and action. Of course, she worked with all the well-known faces of the channel. Mike Neville, Pam Royal, Bob Johnson and Lynn Spencer. I think Cathy was a consummate professional. Uh, working under the challenges of live TV and making it look very easy indeed. But more importantly, she could get right through the camera to the homes and hearts of the viewing public in the Northeast. And we're all very sad at her untimely death. Cathy left Tyne Tees in 1998 and went into radio, where, as you might expect, she was hugely popular with the listeners, as well as those with whom she worked. The warmth of her, the way she broadcast, she did it to you. It's an old adage in the broadcasting world, you know, one to one, but that's what it was with her. Panto was a great love for Cathy, and she starred in many in the region over the years. One of her co-stars, Ray Spencer, describes her as the Grand Dame. She connected with the community uh, and, and, and people were able to think of her as the girl next door, our lass, you know, somebody from the northeast who had done well. The charity Grace House was very close to Cathy's heart. She played a key role and was instrumental in getting the centre in Sunderland built. Quite an achievement. But Cathy always said that her proudest achievement was her two children and two stepchildren. Her daughter Jane followed in her footsteps and is a TV journalist. Earlier, her family released a statement. In it, they say we know Cathy was held in the hearts of many in the Northeast, from her years presenting with Tyne Tees and BBC Radio, and for her work founding and building Grace House in Sunderland. To her family, though, she was just a much loved mum, sister, stepmum, and glamour. Cathy will always be known for her big smile and warmth. For me, as always, a very special good night to you. Keep smiling till I see you again. I leave you now, as always, with that Tyne Tees clock. And the time is just coming up to eight minutes to one o'clock. Good night. Cathy Secker, much loved and much missed. Cathy, such a, a friendly and warm face in uh, so many of our living rooms. And mm -hmm. as a colleague 
She was wonderful to work with. I remember when I first joined TIT, she was so warm, so encouraging and supportive and has been throughout my career. A yeah. lovely, lovely person. Yeah. Absolutely. She was the same with me when I first started. She was a great help, very welcoming and helpful and great fun as well. It was a bit like having your big sister at work <laughs> with you. And um, she was so glamorous, wasn't she? Yeah. You know, well, no wonder she was a former model and she yeah, had the most there. brilliant Thank poise. Gorgeous, gorgeous clothes all the time. That was something that we shared, a, a love of clothes. And we spent a lot of time talking about clothes. She had tremendous presence as well, on screen and off. Whenever you were in a room with Cathy, you were aware of her presence. There was a sort of electricity about her. And that warmth came through on screen, uh, in her continuity and in all the programmes mm -hmm. she made. We had some great laughs Part together the making programmes. She was just such a lot of fun. Crackers. She really was. And away from work, Cathy has a lovely and very friendly family. Our thoughts are very much with them at this time. And there are memories of Cathy Secker, who's died at her home in Jesmond, aged 70. Hello and welcome to Wednesday's Look North tonight. An apology from Cleveland's Crime Commissioner after a policeman was victimised and discriminated against by other officers. But now it's lights, camera and action. Tributes to Cathy Secker, the North East broadcaster who's died at her home, aged 70. Cathy was just loved by everybody. You know, she was so welcoming with that brilliant, dazzling smile and twinkly eyes. Tributes have been paid to the BBC broadcaster and former television personality Cathy Secker, who died at her home yesterday at the age of 70. Well, Cathy was best known as a continuity announcer for Tyne T's television. She also presented a radio request programme on BBC Newcastle for more than 20 years. Andrew Hartley reports. Hello, James. A very happy sixth birthday to you today. She was a star of the small screen for families across the North East. Born in Bedlington, Cathy Secker started working life as a bank clerk before becoming a fashion model. Cathy joined Tyne T's television in 1979 as a continuity announcer. She left in 1985, but returned five years later. She was so welcoming with that brilliant, dazzling smile and twinkly eyes. I think that's what so many people will remember. And she had a tremendous warmth in her voice. And the job that she did when I first met her as continuity announcer gave you a real connection with the viewers because you read the birthdays, you read the what's on, you actually went out and, and opened fates and charity shows and things like that. It was all part and parcel of the job. So there was that tremendous connection with the viewer and Cathy never lost that. She had tremendous warmth. In the 1990s, Cathy presented several programmes, including Cathy and Co and the evening news programme Tonight. She left Time Tees in 1998. By then, she was hosting a weekly dedication show on BBC Radio Newcastle. She remained on the station for 21 years and was due to present this coming Sunday. She had an aura about her. She still had a glamour, even on the radio. But if I tried to speak to Cathy during her programme when the music was playing, Sometimes it was really difficult because she'd be on the phone and she would be talking to her listeners on the phone. They loved to ring her and have a chat with her before she gave the dedication. And she loved them. Listening to Cathy, you knew you were listening to someone born, bred and proud of the North East, an integral part of the North East and really of the heritage of the region over so many years. And it's such a, such a huge, huge miss. Perhaps a most lasting legacy was her work in building the Grace House Children's Hospice in Sunderland. Cathy Secker was found at home in Newcastle. She leaves two children, two stepchildren and two grandchildren. From everyone here at Tyne Tees, we wish you a pleasant and a peaceful good night. For me, as always, a very special good night. Andrew Hartley, BBC Look North. Cathy Secker, lovely lady.